When we look at some of the major critical factors from the user's perspective, we focus on network user applications. Network user applications are very important for the existence of both our personal environments and our business environments. One of the most critical applications that everybody uses is electronic mail or email. This application is used almost everywhere networks exist, and that includes even yourself connected directly to the internet with no network. Typically, you will have an email account that allows you to exchange email with the rest of the world. Even if you exist in the largest of businesses where literally thousands and thousands of users share the same email environment, electronic mail has become the most mission critical application for most businesses today. This application allows full collaborative capabilities between organizations, between people in the same organization, and between different applications that exist on the network, such as database applications or storage area networks, or being able to take advantage of internet-based content. Speaking of internet-based content, how do you get to the internet? Well, typically you use a web browser like Internet Explorer or Netscape Navigator or even possibly Firefox, which is one of the newest web browser applications on the scene. It's done a fantastic job at creating a web browser or internet surfing environment that makes it possible for us to gain access to the millions and millions of web pages, libraries, dictionaries, and online books that exist on our information superhighway known as the internet. The web browser is your interface to all of these resources. Another user application that uses the network is instant messaging. Though instant messaging was predominantly used in the user environment where you would chat with your friends or family, it is becoming more and more a business type application, especially in environments where we need to have real-time communication or non-voice communication but real-time data communication between different members in the same department. And a really good example of this is a software development company that develops software and must constantly stay abreast of any changes that are being made by the various developers in their environment. Using instant messaging, they can quickly tell all of the other developers that are working on the same project something that they may be doing or may be querying another developer for ideas or something like this. Instant messaging is becoming more and more a business solution. We have to remember, though, that anytime you deal with user applications on the network, we have to focus on security and understand that all of these applications can be compromised. And of course, we do have to worry about making sure that they are as secure as possible on the network. So we never arbitrarily implement network user applications. But ultimately, one of our goals is to make sure that we have got the ability for collaboration in our business systems. What this means is that regardless of what applications we're using, we have the ability to collaborate. A lot of applications that have been built around groupware, for instance, will utilize collaboration to allow different departments or different areas of the organization to be able to collaborate on the same projects or the same data and be able to use emails, an interface which is really fantastic. In addition, a big part of most of our businesses involves database access. The ability for us to centrally store major amounts of corporate data into a unit that can be accessed by everybody and can be understood by everybody to run the business. Large percentages, 70 to 80 percent of businesses, actually rely on their databases, the most critical applications they have. If they lose their databases, they lose all their data, which is serious trouble. So database access is probably one of the most important applications for the business side. Each of these network user applications, from email to a large database server implementation, are all accessed based upon the same types of network components. The PC, the server, the network interface card, the different media types, the switches and the routers, they're all there. They all make it possible for us to have networks of any size that access these applications.